Well, hey everybody, it is moving day. Christmas Eve. It is. Christmas Eve, and we are we're leaving. Yeah. We're gonna go 10 miles south and do one of those bucket list things and camp along the shore of Lake Mead. Yeah. Not sure we'll be on the shore, more like 50 feet above the shore. We'll have a view of the lake. <laughs> so we, we've certainly enjoyed our time here and we, it's not far to move. No. Ten, 10 miles. Maybe. No. It's probably good. It's been very windy. So we'll shake loose all the dust and clean again. Clean again? Oh my gosh. <laughs> you just write in the dust every day. So we're off. Come along. Let's go see where our next spot's going to land us. here to Stewart Point right on the I guess this would be the north shore of Lake Mead and uh, I don't know if I would say it's busy out here it's certainly not as busy as it was in there on Snowbird Mesa just a little scan around when I'm turning so we're right there fairly level spots got all hooked up one interesting thing is there's a herd of donkeys wandering around here. There's quite a bit of uh, what they're leaving behind around. And we have seen them. I haven't been able to get a good picture of them yet. I'll try to do that. I, I tried looking up in some information about donkeys out here and I couldn't find anything. Maybe somebody can leave a comment below and list why they're here. Now certainly this was a an area that was used for mining in the past. and. Don't know if those donkeys were just left over that uh, turned wild out here. Maybe they're multi-generational. Don't know. Kind of interesting. A few people down there fishing on the lake. We won't be doing that because I don't have a fishing license for this area. Don't know how good the fishing is. So I've climbed up here on top of the trailer because... I am not allowed to fly my drone in this area. The entire Lake Mead National Recreation Area is a no-fly zone. But uh, as you can see, there is a vault toilet to the north of us where I would suspect, or, you know, when the water level was high, would have been the marina area down here. The closest place to get fresh water is over at the Echo Bay campground which you can go over there and dump and get water for free and it's right over there at the base of those mountains it's about 10 miles from here and we, that's where we've been getting our fresh water and of course Overton is about 15 miles away from here so amenities are fairly close and there's quite a few people out here We've enjoyed our stay out here. It's a, it's a fun place to come out here, be right here on the, the edge of Lake Mead. We have not taken advantage of uh, our kayak. It's a little chilly to get out there, but we do see a lot of people out there from time to time on boats. 
doing some fishing. Guess if we were a little bit more adventurous, we could get the kayaks out and go for a go for a kayak ride. But I've seen a kayak out here. I wasn't able to get a real great picture. I'll put the picture in that I got. And we've seen road runners, which I haven't been able to get a good picture of at all. Ravens. And of course, the uh, the donkeys roaming around have kept us company. We have not run into any of the big horn sheep out here yet, but there are big horn sheep in the other area. And mom and dad saw a bunch of those on their way over to Echo Bay to get water not too long ago. Be fun to get some pictures of those. All right, well, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And, of course, if you haven't already, please subscribe and follow Angie, Jazz, and I on our journey. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you down the road.